In recent conflicts, the proliferation of guided anti-tank missiles and RPGs has highlighted the inability of traditional armor to protect against those threats. A new approach was needed, leading to the development of Active Protection Systems, abbreviated as APS. Rather than absorbing the blow of a projectile like traditional armor, the theory of an APS is to destroy or disrupt the threat before it can impact the vehicle. Many APS systems are in development, but in this video we are specifically comparing the two premier systems. The first is the Israeli Trophy, which we are comparing based upon its installation on the Merkava Mark IV main battle tank. During the 2014 Gaza War, Trophy-equipped Merkavas saw significant and effective operational use. Our rival to Trophy is the Russian Afghanic system, as installed on the newest Russian main battle tank, the T-14 Armada. Now before we compare the two, it's important to understand the difference between hard and soft kill mechanisms. Hard kill elements directly damage the threat. Soft kill elements, on the other hand, confuse the threat's guidance system, so it misses the vehicle. So the first order of business is detecting the threat. Trophy detects targets using four radars providing detection and tracking in all directions. The nature of radars allows the computer to calculate the flight path of the projectile and determine if it needs to be engaged or ignored. Afghanit's sensor suite also utilizes radars as the primary method of detection. However, it is reported that electro-optics, either in the UV or IR spectrum, are also integrated into Afghanit. If the threat is a guided missile, soft kill measures can be deployed to break the lock. Afghanit has several rotatable smoke grenade launchers located on the top of the turret. These can put a smoke screen between the missile and the vehicle to hide it from the hostile sensor. To counter top attack munitions, one of the launchers is fixed pointing upwards. Trophy has a very similar ability using the vehicle's built-in smoke grenade launchers, but they are fixed pointed forward, forcing the turret to rotate if a threat comes from behind or the side, and can't protect against top attack munitions at all. If the computer determines the threat will still impact the vehicle, then the hard kill mechanism comes into play. Trophy's hard kill system consists of rotating launchers, with one on each side of the vehicle, while Afghanit has 10 fixed launchers positioned horizontally in the front and sides of the turret. The Trophy's rotating launchers allow targets from all directions horizontally and at very high angles of elevation to be engaged. Afghanit, on the other hand, covers only the forward 180 degrees while being unable to intercept targets at high elevations. While the launchers can't be aimed independently of the turret, the munition can be detonated at several initiation points inside the munition, changing the direction the EFP will fly. Additionally, the launchers may be able to pivot along two planes, but this has yet to be confirmed. If a threat comes from the sides or rear, the T-14 must turn its turret to position the munitions for intercept or be forced to rely on smoke grenades, making it vulnerable to RPGs and other munitions with a short time of flight. Trophy's reaction time in comparison is speedy, and able to snap onto targets in less than a second. However, only a single interceptor is held on each launcher, demanding a reload after each interception. This takes only a second and a half, but leaves a temporary gap in protection that can be exploited, though along the front and rear the launcher's kill zones overlap, allowing them to cover each other's reloads. Trophy is also vulnerable to prolonged bombardment since it only has two reloads for each launcher. Afghanistan's interceptors can handle simultaneous threats if they fall into the kill zone of different munitions. However, if multiple threats come simultaneously from the same direction, Afghanit can be defeated as both threats will be in the kill zone of a single EFP. Each of Trophy's launchers holds a single warhead known as a multiple explosively formed penetrator. MEFPs are created by detonating an explosive behind a patterned metal liner, causing it to fragment into many smaller projectiles, creating a spread much like a shotgun. These projectiles travel extremely fast, allowing them to slice through rockets and missiles with ease. The MEFP is extremely effective against shaped charge carried by missiles and rockets, since damage to the shaped charge dramatically disrupts the creation of the jet, or causes it to fail to develop entirely. However, individually the EFPs have no effect on the incredibly dense kinetic energy penetrators fired by other main battle tanks. Unlike Trophy's MEFP, Afghanit uses a single, more powerful EFP. This allows it to defeat kinetic threats by weakening or breaking up the projectile. Another advantage of Afghanit's more controlled method is safety to friendlies. So which is the better active protection system? Trophy was optimized for asymmetric scenarios, where the main threats are anti-tank guided missiles or RPGs that could come from any direction or elevation. Afghanit, on the other hand, has better performance in symmetric conflicts, with an emphasis on protecting the frontal arc of the vehicle, particularly against other main battle tanks that are using kinetic energy penetrators. Thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe, and share if you want to see more content like this, and comment below if we got something wrong, or you have a particular subject that you'd like to see explained and animated.